Hi fire signs, welcome back to my channel. Happy October! I am going to be doing your upcoming week for the 1st through the 7th. Okay, this is going to be for Aries, the middle Leo, the last Sag. Okay, so let's start with Aries. Aries, for the first week of October, you have the snake card. Your intuition and healing powers will guide you to a better path. But be careful, okay? The snake comes to you to uh, make sure that you are on the right path, okay? You can heal any situation, and it's telling you to be very careful of yourself, your, your actions, what you think about, and your surrounding, who you surround yourself with, okay? So, like I said, it says your intuition and healing powers will guide you to a better path, but be careful, so always follow your guidance, your the gut feeling inside of you. If something's telling you something's wrong or you feel like something's not right, that is not the way to go, okay? The second card here that we have is abundance, number eight. So you have some abundance coming in in a form of whatever abundance means for you. It could be in love, emotional, emotional, um, how do I say it? emotional abundance or just you know lots of loving <laughs> lots of money lots of uh, career opportunities lots of creativity abundance comes to you in a way where only you know what type of abundance you want and that's going to be coming to towards you this upcoming week but with the snake card always be careful and the third card we have here these are all different oracles from different decks too we have material harvest Ooh, you see with the abundance and the material harvest, oh my goodness, you definitely have some abundance coming in. You will be manifesting the materialistic things. Whether this is you, um, you have been working hard and now you have, you are being able to, you know, harvest everything that you've planted in the past few months, probably. Okay, so that's a good thing. I love it. Then the three tarot cards we pulled from three different decks, we have, uh, first of all, the Hangman Reverse, okay? The Hangman Reverse is kind of like something finally lifting up, something finally moving forward. What was once stagnant and stuck and unable to move forward is now being lifted so you can move forward. You'll be able to... Um, come out into the world and whatever this means to you not you're not no longer stuck you can move forward finally freely so that's amazing and then we have uh the page of imps which is the page of wands you are on fire aries you are going to be full of energy and creativity you're going to be coming up with new ideas to do things and taking action on them then we have obviously the ten of cups look at that that's some kind of abundance right there right emotionally fulfillment abundance this is like the best you can feel i feel like this upcoming week you're going to just be feeling really really good about your life about everything that you worked hard for you know tours as well and everything and everyone in your life you're going to be feeling very very good but like that snake says, you know, be very careful. Just be very careful about who you tell, what you have, and what you're, you're up against and what you're planning on doing because they can't give you the evil eye or something like that. Just be very mindful about those things. The Halloween Oracle card that came out for you is Vampire. Okay, and this talks about emotional intelligence. So with the emotional intelligence card, this is pretty much telling you that um, be careful who you surround yourself with. If you, they've been sucking the life out of you, like their low vibrational energies can bring you down, suck the energy out of you. This could be negative people. This could be people always, you know, coming after you just so that they can steal your energy. So be very, very careful um, about who who's around you who you tell you know your business to and everything like that because they can be using you uh vampire energy suckers so be very very careful about that okay and then you'll be fine like i said you have great happiness and abundance coming in so that's good aries congratulations you have great things coming this upcoming week all right so leo 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 we have 
beware you have the beware card which is a frog it says be careful who you trust at this time be very careful who you trust the people that you tell your business to your friends and your family the ones you think that you know you can really trust are usually the ones that you don't <laughs> so just be very very careful about what, you, what you're doing and what you're saying this upcoming week second card we have is grounding in okay? case so what is keeping you grounded okay what are your boundaries that you're having towards people and the way you run things in your household how are you grounding yourself maybe you need to stay more grounding this upcoming week more stable more sturdle you know see that how to sturdle more uh how do i say it <laughs> stable <laughs> so um yeah, so just be very careful if you're spending too much money. I just heard it. Don't spend too much money on bullshit that you don't need because you're going to need it for like your priorities and everything, okay? Then we have <clears throat> fulfillment of wishes. Ooh, so this upcoming week you're going to be having some type of uh, something coming towards you, I feel like. Something coming towards you where you're going to be very happy about something that you've always wanted or someone or a place, a thing, a career, anything. It's going to be coming towards you. Look at that. Treasure box, all that water. This is abundance poured down upon you. And it's just like, you know, fulfillment of wishes. It could be anything. Whatever this means to you, this is going to be a fulfillment of that. Okay, you will be getting what you've been wanting. All right, so the tarot cards that we have here are... The Ace of Pentacles. We have the Ace of Pentacles. So this could be a job offer, a business offer, uh, an offer of stability. Okay, again with the grounding card. This could help you get stable. Make sure that you approve of it. Make sure you find all the information you need. Say yes. This is going to be very beneficial for you in your future. It's something that you've been needing, okay? Needing to get yourself back on your toes or to um, get yourself going to something really, really uh, fulfilling, okay? Then we have the Knight of Wands. So with this fiery energy here, you could be coming towards uh, something or someone feeling very hot tamale, feeling very hot and bothered. This could be you coming towards someone with your creative ideas, going on a creative endeavor, and going after what you are passionate about. Then we have the Nine of Imps, which is the Nine of Wands. This could you this could be you feeling a little overprotective or feeling very protected of everything that you worked hard towards. Probably building a wall up so that you know in case something happens where love comes in, you don't want to get hurt. Stuff like that. It could be many things for you. The Oracle card that came out for you was the Night Song. And this talks about hidden talents. Mmm, hidden talents. Leo, again, with the um, with the feeling creative. You see that? The Knight of Wands. Like I said, bringing, what can you bring to the table? What are you bringing to someone or creating or carrying with you too? You see that? Hidden talents coming forth and exposing those talents and... Being like the center of attention, protecting that talent as well. Beware. Don't tell anybody your, your secrets. Uh, don't tell anybody about what your creative endeavors are going to be because they could be, you know, doing something that, you know, bad intentions or whatever energy and you just don't want to be around that. Okay, so always protect yourself and everything that you work hard towards. Sagittarius, we have the ego card. It says you will soon you will soar towards your destiny with greater clarity and strength. Wow, you are going towards your your destiny, boo boo, and you're going to know exactly what that is because you're going to have clarity. You're going to have the strength to move forward. If you felt fear before, you're not going to have fear anymore. You're going to just freely move forward. And then we have the play card. Okay, you're going to have fun while you do it too. You're going to move forward. You're going to play a little, not take everything too seriously because you know that life is all about having fun, letting loose, living each day like if it was your last one, right? Yes. And then uh, the other card that we have here is material and spiritual prosperity. Wow, this is awesome, Sagis. So the material and spiritual prosperity is pretty much saying that 
you will be getting and achieving everything that you want materialistic this is like the 5d and the 3d balancing them both out balancing out the 3d which is your um reality your uh the here down on earth and then the spiritual is uh 5d and up and then you know the heavens above so the spiritual side so i feel like you will be balancing them both and that's what's going to make you feel a lot more fulfilling abundant and it's like pretty much having it all right Feeling good and free and love. Loving. <laughs> Spreading the joy. The tarot cards that came out for you is the Knight of Cups. So you could be going towards somebody offering them your love. Offering them your emotional um, attention. Or someone could be coming towards you. It could be a Cancer Scorpio Pisces. Or any other sign. I'm just, you know, seeing what I see. So, yeah, pretty much coming towards somebody, uh, making that decision to finally say, I do, or yeah, let's do this, or giving them a chance for giving someone, or vice versa. It could be anything. Then we have the Seven of Pumpkins, which is the Seven of Pentacles. Thinking about your future, thinking about what you want to do, if you want to travel. I feel like some of you have been thinking about traveling, going out of state or something uh, for the holidays, doing some festivities, whatever it could mean. But this is definitely you thinking about things. If you're not happy, you want to make a change in it. And we have the Six of Wands. Wow, this is victorious. Feeling victorious with your accomplishments. Getting everything that you want and wish for. This is feeling like getting the center of attention. Like being noticed about your accomplishments and, and everything that you worked hard towards. And, and everybody's like looking at you like, oh, you are so like patting you on the back and everything like that. And also you could be looking at yourself and everything you achieved throughout the months or years. And just feeling great about it. Feeling very triumphant. And then the oracle card that we pulled for you is the Skull of Flowers creating through the ashes it's pretty much like to me this card represents you know creating something from absolutely nothing creating something huge from nothing starting from the bottom and suddenly making it to the top with very so little with your faith and it's just like amazing so the school of flowers to me it's like whether you're burning incense and you're doing things, certain kind of rituals or whatever, this is you like creating what you want and throwing it to the wind to manifest it and you will be getting it. So yay, Sagis. Okay, Fire Science, this was your uh, weekly message for October 2018. Please like, share, and subscribe to my channel and I will see you in your next video. Bye guys. Happy October.